everybody. Welcome to the OIL Racing All-American Late Model Series. We are getting a late start, having some technical difficulties. We'll talk about that in just a second. We are on lap four of 100 here at Iowa Speedway. Alan Smith was just involved in an incident to bring out caution number one. Andy Kessler is in love up here in the booth with me. Uh, Andy, how you doing? I'm doing good, Ben. Uh, this is a very exciting uh, moment for us, and uh, hopefully we can get this race going and uh, get a lot of green laps in. Bunch of early pitters coming down pit road. Well, not a bunch of people are going to come down. Dalton Tucker, Fate Power on Hagelin, and Hagelin, who set the pole for this evening, it will be the only car down pit road. Uh, under caution number one here early on in the race, but uh, we were watching practice uh, earlier on, and um, they were really close time, Sandy, and uh, it should be a good race here at the end. Yeah, I think the top 12 or so were only spaced out by like half a second, so it's a really fast track, multiple grooves. Uh, it's 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 going to be good. These guys are going to get it on, and uh, you'll see some guys run to the top line, some guys run to the bottom, and uh, we'll see at the end which one uh, ends up being the best line. Ron Hagelin, big story. He's coming down pit road. Zane Lovett was supposed to be here. He's having technical difficulties. Ron Hagelin looks as if he might be coming down again. He might be topping off here on the first caution, trying to make it to the end of the race. But um, once again, we will sor uh, we're sorry for the technical difficulties and getting a late start here, but we are up and running now and looking forward to the broadcast. Let's take a look at the championship standings, though, under this first caution. Go ahead and get us an idea of who's all racing for what here. Dalton Tucker has the points lead over Nathan Rinke, which is 20, or who is 23 points behind the lead. Austin Rinke right behind him, 37 points behind. Dave Doberly, 67 points behind Tucker. And Ron Hagelin, who set the pole and has come down pit road a few times, 69 points behind. But he has the top five. We'll get to the rest of them in the coming or uh, throughout the race. But right now, the lights are going to go off on the iRacing.com board Mustang pace car. And we're getting ready to get set and go back racing here once again at Iowa Speedway. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, Hagelin can get back through this traffic without any issues. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Dalton Tucker, though, will lead him back to the green flag. He has nine wins, which all came consecutive here in the uh, Online Independence League. This came consecutive, and, of course, Ron Hagelin last week breaking that nine race win streak, or win, winning streak. So, here we go. Green flag back in the air. Clean restart. William Carp in the number one car. Closing in on Tucker for the lead. Battle heating up for the second, uh, third position, excuse me. That's uh, Ray Farlow and Nathan Ranky. Rank has it. Farlow wants it. Yeah, it looks like these top six really lined up in a line, and uh, they're starting to pull away, but they're staying, uh, staying right on each other's bumpers. Well, 
An update on Hagelin, he's made it to the 8th position. Getting word that on our ticker it is showing minus one and minus two. Uh, we want to let you know that is seconds, not laps. Our ticker not functioning properly. Dalton Tucker stepping out. To a pretty significant lead is Rinky and Cart. They've been battling, or they're battling right now currently for the second position. Caution is out, though. Oh, I'm going to have to look back and see what exactly happened here. Rinky and Craft. I'm hearing had a little bit of contact. Craft and Joseph. Rinky, uh, yeah, Craft. Looked like it pushed a little bit loose on her. And had a little bit of contact. Not too much damage on either one of the cars. William Carr couldn't quite tell if he missed pit lane there or what happened. He might have just want to wave at his pit crew there, going down the inside of the infield there, but uh, passing out for the second time in only 14 laps. Just listening to one of the drivers as we see William Carr. Mm, he's going to come down pit road this time. Listening to one of the drivers on the chat, Nathio, no, Nathan Ranky uh, said, and I quote, There's nothing like being bored in a race car, Andy, but uh, it might get a little bit boring running around in a caution, but it's one of those racing things. you got to do it. Lights are still on. On the iRacing.com Ford Mustang pace car. Looking to get them off here for the next few laps or now. Lights go off and we are getting ready and set to go back. Green flag racing here at Iowa Speedway in the OIL Racing League. Let's get awesome. these cars bunched back up. Let's get this going. Dalton Tiger lead them, will lead them back to the line.
Looks like Ron Hack has gotten into fourth place now. He's moved his way all the way back up from last place. So he's definitely on the move, heading back up towards the front. That early pit stop so far has not hurt him. Zane Lowe has his technical difficulties worked out. Ron Hagelin, remember, he started on the pole, pitted a few times, probably topping off in gas. He's worked his way up to the fourth position. He for third as he heads off of number four, right up on the rear bumper, almost tucked under the back bumper of Ray Farlow. Tight battle for the third position. Farlow, Hagelin, and Poole. Hagelin to the inside of Farlow. Does Farlow keep the momentum up on the outside, or does Hagelin pull a slide job? He pulls a slide job. Blocks the move from Farlow, getting the momentum up on the outside. They're going to go three wide almost as they head down to the third number one. Good battle for the third position. Back here from seventh on back. There, tell knows. Sixth on back, excuse me. to the lead, Dalton Tucker has pulled a 15-20 car length lead over Nathan Reinke. Ron Hagelin not too far behind him in third. And then the two continue to battle out for fourth, and they might have got a bumper in there. Farlow and Poole. And now you can go ahead and add Alan Smith to that as well. And remember, Alan Smith was involved in, in the first caution. It doesn't look like whatever happened there, uh, he was able to get a face down pit road, and uh, he's back up there in the mix now, fighting for a top five position. Watch the mm, battle for seventh between Sean Medling and William Carp. Carp stuck it to the inside of Medling, almost pushed up and caused a big crash. He's going to dive it down there one more time. Not going to get it done. Meddling slides up the track. Carp trying to get around. Bump Carp to seventh. I think Meddling was just trying to get out of their way right there. Carp under pressure from Joseph Reinke now. Ranky all over the rear end of William Carp. Now we have a battle for the fourth position. Excuse me, fifth between Alan Smith and Ray Farlow. Smith is on the bottom, Farlow's up top. They're side by side, this is for top five position. They're still side by side. Good race going on between these two guys. Al Smith pushed up a little bit in one and two right there. Falling back a little bit from Farlow, but he gets a good run out of turn number four. And keep it off the wall, Smith in the wall. Didn't look like it hurt his car too much, though. Looking out of the rear end of Farlow, as you can see, Alan Smith still trying to charge up to the front. Alan Smith might have something for these guys today. Joseph Rankin getting around get around car. car. You I <laughs> took the words right out of your mouth as Ray Farlow still battling with Alan Smith and guys, I don't know, he doesn't number 18, he might be thinking Kyle Bush in his mind or something. I like this was the first time to get rowdy, folks. It's early, but it's time. We will complete 29 laps this time. Alan Smith, he really looks good off of the corners. Ron Hagelin 
going to be battling Nathan Ranky for the second position here pretty soon. But the battle is for fifth. It's Farlow, Smith, Ranky, and Carr all tail the nose. Yeah, Hagelin, man, he's driving up the pack through the, this entire time. You watched him, I think it was 60, started the, when I came in here in the booth. Now he's sitting up at 30. He's done Nathan Rinky right now, or Nathan Nintendo Rinky right now. He's going to get second, but he may burn his eyes out if he doesn't get a caution here quick enough. There's been no rest, man, in this, since I've been in here. This battle for fifth back here is heating up. Alan Smith goes a little bit high. Joseph Ranke tries to get to the inside of him. He does. Now they're side by side for the sixth position, both going after fifth. William Karp just sitting back there licking his chops, hoping one of them makes a mistake. Here comes Joseph Ranke up the inside. He's going to be looking for fifth. Farlow runs the middle groove in one and two. Here comes Rinky. He's got a nose now on him. Side by side for the fifth position. Rinky's got to be real careful that he doesn't push up. He doesn't, but Farlow does. Off Rinky, the fifth. Farlow back to sixth. Alan Smith. Now under pressure from William Carp. And right behind William Carp, Austin Ranky has joined this mix. That's the best battle on the track right now. These five guys are really, really going at it. Smith looking under Farlow. And one and two, not going to have anything for him this time. Off of two, he gets a good run, though. Maybe has a nose down the back straight away. He gets so very bumper. On the inside of him. William Carp dove it down into three real hard. Carp gets a good run through three and four. He makes a little bit of contact with Alan Smith. What a save from Alan Smith. Riding on board with Smith. Man. And he didn't lose that much track position. <laughs> you see how he gets high for Carp. There that time, though. Carp and Smith side by side. That's for the seventh position. Smith's able to keep it this lap. Bow for a second. Ron Hagelin is caught. Nathan Rinke. I've been watching this battle past couple of laps, and um, Hagelin's been coming in hot going in two and three. He's getting right on his bumper, but Rankin's just getting a great drive off the corner. He just can't stick it in the corners coming off. And another concern we have to worry about, or have to talk about here, has Hagelin maybe pushed a little bit too hard on his tires. I did say it earlier, he, broke through the, he drove through the field really quick, really fast, really hard. He may have worn out his tires too quick here. But look at him, if you watch him here, he's trying to find a different groove on the track to get a little bit more grip and drive off the corner. So give him a lap or two, he may find something here. Looks to me as if he's trying to back his corners up a little bit earlier and get the good run off. I'll have to see if he has any success in getting around Ranky here in the next few laps. Joseph Ranky has moved up to the hospital. And Alan Smith and William Carp still side by side. Smith, Carp side by side. For the seventh is an eight. These guys have been battling at it for at least ten laps. Really dives the car hard down into the turn, and Alan Smith 
gets a good run off. Man, these guys have been duking it out side by side. While this is going on back here, Dalton Tucker's just on the Sunday drive up front, 3.4 seconds behind, in front of second right now. He's just hoping these guys don't wreck behind him for the rest of the race. Dalton Tucker, kind of reminding me and reminiscent of the Renz Brokeman in the SRA V8 supercars. Just setting sail on the field. Alan Smith, though, back here in the back of the pack. Thought he had a, or got clear of car he has for the time being, and they're going to go single file. Ron Hagel just not able to really get to the rear bumper of Nathan Rinke. I'm not so sure if he's just riding around at this point or not, trying not to wear his stuff out, because he hasn't really been pushing up a charge on this. He's pretty much stayed about three tenths behind him. It's still early on in the race. Not even halfway quite yet. Back here for seven. Alan Smith and William Carp. They're going to go side by side or try to in one and two yet again. Carp had a really good run going into one, but he checked up a little bit to give Smith some room. I think they may stop racing like it's the last lap here. Putting on a good show for the fans and up here and us up here broadcasting. That's what I like about this track with the uh, progressive banking that you can actually make that outside groove work. And so far, he's been a pull off carp on the bottom. There's a real good point. The turns on the bottom. They have 12 degrees up in the middle, they have 13, and on the very high side, they have 14 to 15, I do believe, but small change, but it does help the way the cars race, and you can see the way Alan Smith is holding off William Cart. He's just able to go a little bit faster, keep up that momentum, while on the other hand, Cart has to slow down a little bit slower and get the car turned. We're almost halfway. Let's take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back at you for some more OIL All American Weight Model Series racing from Iowa. are back at the OIL Racing All-American Late Model Series tonight for the Iowa 100 at Iowa Speedway. We are just now completing halfway as Dalton Tucker has already completed halfway. He's running up on some lap traffic of Kathy Kraft. Nathan Rinke runs second. Ron Hagelin is third. Joseph Rinke is fourth. Chuck Poole Fifth, Ray Farlow, sixth, Alan Smith is seventh, William Carp is eighth, Austin Rinke is ninth, and Sean Middling is tenth. If you're just tuning in or haven't really been paying attention, just have the Bronx up in another link. We will have this on our archives page, so be sure to check that out. Should be posted around tomorrow. Sometime tomorrow evening. This one should be up there. Yeah, I think Dalton Tucker's just showing why he did win nine nine races in a row. He's uh, got this baby on cruise control and he's just hanging out up here in front all, all by himself. I heard some yeah. random summer conversation. He was sipping a macchiato going into three last time. 
<laughs> On a Sunday drive, it was Dalton Tugger, five second lead over the whole field. And, uh, guys, guess what? William Carp, Alan Smith, they're going at it one more time. <laughs> Uh, they're going to be trying to get around Ray Follow here for the sixth position. Oh, Alan Smith almost got up into the wall. William Carp dives it hard down in the corner. Alan Smith gets a good run. He's going to pull a crossover. What a crossover from Smith right there. That is not a crossover. It's supposed to be done. See, Carp gets a good run out of the corner, though. They would keep the momentum up on the high side. Just past halfway, and a, oh my! A big story developing. Sean Medling having some difficulties. He's pulled it behind the wall. That's a battle for the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth position. It's getting dicey. Don't know if Dalton Tucker is going to catch these guys. He's only about a turn or so behind them. But when he does, is he going to be able to maneuver around all these guys? Six second lead for Tucker at the moment. Yeah, I'm not so sure these guys will pull away or pull over to the side for him. They're racing hard for position here, so Dalton's definitely going to have to tiptoe his way through when he catches these guys. It's becoming a four-car battle for sixth place back here. This is amazing. Kind of reminiscent of the SK modified finish two weeks ago here at Iowa Speedway. You can check that out on the archives page. What a finish uh, between Rusty Greer, Mike Littlefield, and uh, Brett Osborne. Brett Osborne, of course, coming out with the win, but man. Good clean racing on Alan. Only, only had a few pump ins. Speaking of SK Modifieds, they will be at South Boston this Tuesday night. Do we see Rusty Greer have a little bit of retaliation on Mike Littlefield? Or do we see another domination from Rusty Greer? Tune in this Tuesday night to find out. Alan Smith in the wall down the front straight away sideways. Can he keep it straight? He's through the grass and he's going to be able to keep it straight. Austin Ranky down pit road. Sean Medling. The crew has it fixed. So, the four car battle that was heating up for the six position. Now it's down two. Farlow and Carp. Nathaniel Rinky coming down pit road this time. He's hitting the line. Gotta be real careful not to speed on these green flag pit stops. You gotta wonder, can Rod Haglin go a little bit further than everybody else? He stayed out. Er, no, excuse me, I stayed out. He pitted extra under the first option to um, top off a few times. Ron Hagelin now is down pit road. <laughs> so don't, don't listen to me anymore. Just pull right in. I'm actually quite shocked about that, and Dalton Tucker's still out on the track, blasting out some fast laps. But she got to wonder now, if those guys get tires, then Tucker could start losing some time to them significantly if he stays out on his old tires and they have, they have new tires. We'll have to see how much longer Dalton Tucker can stay out. And the thinner rookie's still on pit road. I don't know if something happened, but he's taking a lot of time here. The 
Defender working off the road. Looks like he went two laps down under that stop. Ron Hagelin also on pit road for quite a while. It takes a bunch of time to get these cars packed in with fuel. And now Dahl Duggar down pit road. He followed Farlow in. So, pit stop have begun around lap 60. It's going to take quite a while for all scoring to get sorted out here. So green flag still out. Joseph Rinke is being scored your leader. Dalton Tugger still down pit road. And he's pulling or getting off now. Rinke's Rinke the leader. Rinke the leader, William Carp. Second, Alan Smith. Third, Kathy Craft. Fourth, Dalton Tugger is fifth. That's how they run at the moment. Like I said, a few laps for all of us to get sorted out. Battle for eight. As they run, Hagelin under pressure from Ray Farlow. Closing in on 30 laps. We've had two cautions so far. Have we seen our... <laughs> Have we seen our last? Bumper of Angle once again for the eighth position. This is where it's going to start getting real interesting. We got a couple lap down cars, we got three guys left on the lead lap. Yeah, Joseph Rinke, William Carp, and Alan Smith. Still, I've got to come down pit road at some point. Or at least I would think they did. This is where Dalton Tucker's hoping there is not a caution at any point in time in the next 10 laps. Yeah, he needs us to stay green, so these guys have to pit and uh, get his laps back here. Otherwise, he'll be trapped, and then uh, we definitely don't want that, but stranger things have happened. Yeah, what a story that would be. Caution come out at this time. And I bet that's what's going through the minds of Ranky, Carp, and Smith. They're probably dying for a caution. Oh, yeah. If I was them, I'd be throwing the water bottles up a little bit right now. <laughs> Do you have a Facebook and or a Twitter? If you have Facebook, you can like us on Team Explosion or uh, like us at Team Explosion TV on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Team Explosion TV. We just gave away $15 iRacing credits for getting to 25 likes. We'll do it again at 50 likes, so uh, like it up. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. And Matt, do we have the trivia question? We do have a trivia for tonight. And if you are a Pit Stop fan or an Eric Jones fan or Snowball Derby fan or any fan of anything, 
and just or just was tuning into the fifth stop you you would know this um you can send the answers to trivia at teamsolutiontv.com that's an email address and we will get all the winners or all the correct people <laughs> and um Kathy Kraft by the way is now on pit road anyways uh question of the night Ranky down pit road as well question question of the night is uh what is the weirdest thing Eric Jones has signed so email us with your answer trivia at teamsolutiontv.com with all the or winners up and do a random draw after about five or so questions. I think I know the answer. Matt's looking forward to uh, the emails. Shows <laughs> this ranky down pit road. Andy Kessler said he's got about a hundred guesses. Smith. Might be right, though. Alan Smith has scored the leader. Now we have 20 laps to go. And Alan Smith is still staying out. He's probably just on his knees begging for a caution. Hagelin and Farlow, they've been going at it for quite a while now for the 8th, for, excuse me, yeah, 7th for this. Dalton Tucker has moved to 2nd. Well, yeah, they're getting ready to cycle back out here. It's just Alan Smith is hoping and praying for that caution to come out. I don't know if he's going to get it. Everybody's lined up here, kind of single file. I think, if anything, Alan Smith would be the one to bring out the caution with his tires going bad and run out of fuel here if he runs it too long. That's Wednesday. Alan Smith might be trying to go the whole race. I know if I was him, I'd... I know if I was him, I'd be running about half throttle all the way around trying to make it. But here he comes, Alan Smith, not able to take it anymore. He's down pit road. William Carp just getting around Nathan Rinke for third, and now Rinke with the crossover trying to get back around him. Oh, they almost hit contact! They might have made a little bit of contact. Car, it was like Ranky. a leaf among the wind right there. <laughs> and Granky. <laughs> Dalton Tucker will be back in the lead. Here in just a bit. Austin Ranky down pit road. Here we go. Nathan Rinky, William Carr. They're going to be duking it out here once again. Alan Smith right in front of them. On board with Nathan Rinky. Alan Smith came out of the pits in second, but he's nine seconds behind Dalton Tucker. That's the biggest scooper out of this cycle of pit stops, honestly. Sitting in the back six uh, for that battle between six the whole time. Comes out of pits in second now with, what, 15, 14 laps to go, something like that? He's got it. We have to wonder. Cox crew chief. We have to wonder. Have we seen our last caution? Man, he's also got fresher tires now, too, so it'll be interesting if he chips away at this lead a little bit. 
Well, that's what you got to wonder. Did he take four tires in that stop? Or did he just take two? Because he came out there a lot quicker than the other guys. The other guys took 40, 45 seconds for the four tires and fuel. He was in there for about 30, 35. You also have to factor in the fact that he didn't have to take as much gas as the other guys as well. I did forget that. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, Smith stayed out a little bit longer, burned a little bit more gas, but he didn't have to put as much back into the car as the other guys did. So, we're closing in on 10 to go here. Dalton Tucker getting 12 to go this time by. John Medling, what a disappointment having problems earlier in the race. He's running 11th, four laps down. It'll be 10 laps to go. Next time by for Dalton oh, Tucker. Sean Medling, looks like he might be coming down pit road. He's just slow on the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. Dalton Tucker must just have a rocket under that baby because uh, even with the fresh tires, Alan Smith is not able to close that gap at all. Kathy Kraft, she's slow on the apron, coming down the pit road. Alan Smith, under pressure from William Carp, that's for the second position. Don't know if Carp's going to be able to get it done, though, in the next few laps. Farlow, getting caught. By Chapoo for the eighth position. As we are under 10 laps to go here in the Iowa 100. Battle for second. William Carf, Alan Smith. Smith continue to run that middle line. Remember, these guys were duking it out for seventh and eighth way early back on in the race and now they're going for the second and third positions. Smith running the high side, Carp running the bottom. They're side by side. Got a feeling that this might come down to the best race right here. Smith runs a little bit high and Carp Takes it for the time being. Smith trying to get a good run out of four. Still side by side. Five left to go. This time by for Dalton Tucker. Look who's sneaking up behind and forth to try to join this battle. Nathan Rinke. Exactly. He is... Put the drive on, trying to get by, or trying to catch you guys and possibly get by him. William Carr able to clear Smith. Smith's car really looks like his uh, handling is going away. And as I say that, he powers out of turn number two. He's really backing his corners up and getting a good run off the corner. Look at Smith. Oh, he's going to stay out of the wall. He's going to get into it. And Smith is up. Oh, he's on the side and he's around down the front straight away. Oh my! I don't think he brought the caution out. No caution. There's no caution. Battle for a fifth on the track. Excuse me, that's battle for fifth. Uh, Hagelin and Rinky. Battle back here for sixth. Farlow and Poole. What a battle. 
bad break for Alan Smith. Yeah, his strategy uh, looked like it was going to work. He was going to get a top three finish out of it, and now, uh, now he's uh, lucky to get out of here with a top ten. Dalton Tucker just taking the white flag as he heads down the back straightaway. He's got half a lap. Dalton Tucker through three and four. He had nine in a row. One taken away by Aglum. He's going to get his tenth win of the Ohio racing season. Put it to Dalton Tucker as he wins the Iowa 100. William Carp going to come off second. Nathan Rankey. Then we have the final for fourth. Joseph Rankey gets by Ron Hagelin. Rankey Hagelin top five. Then Poole and Ray Farlow. We'll get you the whole finishing order. We're going to take a break, get everything set up, catch our breaths, and we'll be right back here on TSCB. We are back. Dalton Tucker, victorious here at United Iowa Speedway in the Iowa 100. Number 99 on the side of that car. He led just about, if not all, the laps here tonight. Racked his, racked his tenth win. I'm getting worried he led 80 laps. Racked his tenth win in the OIL. Oh man, what a race. Had some good battles all throughout the race, but uh, I think let's go ahead and run them through the running order. Dalton Tucker came home with the wind. William Karp was second. Nathan Rinke was third. Joseph Rinke was fourth. Fifth was Ron Hagelin. Um, finishing six, Chuck Poole. Seventh was Ray Lowe. Eighth was Alan Smith. I just a heartbreaker for that guy. He made me a fan of his. Today. Ninth was Austin Rink. Tenth was uh, Sean Medling. But bad break for that guy, especially going behind the wall early in the race. Kathy Kraft uh, rounds out the finishing order of all the cars that started the race. Uh, Getting worried that the results are not correct on the screen. Sorry about that, but uh, you heard it from us. So just just listen to us on the results. We got them correct. Don't worry about the screen because the uh, internet lies about everything. But um, Andy, Google it for the truth. 
<laughs> Andy, we uh, saw two good races in the past few weeks here at Iowa Speedway, one in the SK Mods and one here in the Oil um, All-American Late Model Series. Uh, I'm really looking forward to our next broadcast in Iowa. Absolutely. This track is showing that it can uh, it can host a venue and it can have a great race at why it's at. Uh, it's, it's one of them tracks, multiple groups, a little bit of banking. The guys can keep that momentum up. The guys can run the shortest way isn't the fastest way, so uh, definitely a fast track and it's fun. Nice, it's perfect track, really. They they made they made this one well. Zane, you're a little bit late getting to the booth. Had to stop by McDonald's on the way here or some fast food restaurant, but I finally made it. <laughs> finally made it here and uh, good racing. It was awesome racing. They wouldn't let me in at first because of the beard, so I was actually in the stands watching it with the spotters and then got snuck into the booth. Luckily, uh, Matt saw me and was like, that guy works with us, so I got in. I, I just want to say, the battle that I enjoyed watching up to the last lap was lap 99, going to the checkered flag, um, Ron um, Hagelin and Joseph Brinke, going into turn one, turn two, you kind of see it where it looks like Joseph Brinke gave the bumper just a little bit to Hagelin, but it was it looks like just arrow loop. Moved him up the track, got the drive on the inside, and beat him out. I gotta say that was an awesome drive. But Alan Smith, I'm your new number one fan, man. You drove the wheels off that car. I'm sorry that you had to get wrecked out there because your car couldn't stick it. But maybe next week, brother. Well, it's good racing all around the speedway tonight for just about every position, uh, except for the lead. Don't talk. I pretty much had that wrapped up on a Sunday drive. Once again, we want to apologize. For the problems getting going, uh, I know there. I know Matt was getting ready to throw his computer out the window, but we got it running, got the race to you, and we're glad you can tune in. Um, right now, we got to leave you until next time, which I do believe will be the two tonight top split SK modifieds from South Boston. So, on behalf of iRacing.com, Motorsport Simulations, Matt Wisebrook, getting the picture that you see to you. Same love at Andy Kessler. I'm Ben Kilcrease. We will see you Tuesday night right here on TSCV. I just want to run, hide it away, run because the chain.